there were yet more reports of just how severely Canada's competitiveness is suffering. One CEO said there is a real, genuine, honest, nonpartisan concern that Canada is so completely out of touch with the real world. But Mr. Speaker, while the Prime Minister ignores the facts, this is in part a direct result of the Liberal carbon tax. Yep. But Mr. Speaker, what about Canadian families? They too are going to suffer. What is the cost of the carbon tax on Canadian families? Honourable yeah. Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to address the issue of Canadian competitiveness. We know that Canada has done exceptionally well over the last two and a half years. Over the last year and a half, we've had the fastest growth among G7 countries. Canadians have created over 600,000 new jobs. We have among the lowest rates of unemployment we've seen in 40 years. Now, we know that Canadians are competitive because we know that Canada can compete around the world. We will continue to focus on how to improve that competitiveness, working together on issues of importance, considering how we can make sure that, for the long run, these positive results continue. Opposition House Leader. Mr. Speaker, $80 billion of investment has left this country in the last two years. Nothing the Minister of Finance tries to say will change that fact. And the carbon tax is contributing to it. Now, the Liberals would have, a believe, have us believe that the carbon tax is going to magically fix all. It'll put an end to floods, droughts, and forest fires, apparently. They won't tell us how much it's going to cost, but just with a wish, a prayer, a little pixie dust, and a new tax on Canadians, all that's wrong in the world will be made right. What a joke, Mr. Speaker. Nobody believes it. But how much is this bad joke going to cost everyday Canadian families? Mr. Speaker, uh, for decades, people have been talking about taking action on climate change, but nothing has been done. We have taken action. We have put forward a world-class oceans protection plan. We have strengthened our environmental assessments. And we have put in place a price on carbon pollution to grow the economy in cleaner ways. The only idea that Conservatives have is the Harper Conservative approach of doing nothing, yet claiming they will achieve our targets. Mr. Speaker, it is clear the Harper Conservative approach is alive and well in the party opposite. The Honourable Opposition House Leader. Well, even Mike Lignatiev said the Liberals didn't get it done on right. climate change, Mr. Speaker. But here with the, here's what the Liberals are really good at. Cover-ups. According to the Oxford Dictionary, a cover-up is an attempt to prevent people from discovering the truth about a serious mistake. So when the Liberals literally black out the numbers around how much a carbon tax is going to cost Canadians, they are covering up this cost to Canadians who deserve to know. So again, Mr. Speaker, the Liberals know they have the numbers. How much is the carbon tax going to cost? Will one of them answer, please? Mr. Speaker, Canadians asked us to plan for a better and safer future. They asked us to take concrete and thoughtful actions to tackle climate change. We listened and we heard Canadians. Our plan would cut pollution equivalent to closing 20 coal plants while the economy and the GDP continue to grow in cleaner ways. That is the plan Canadians asked for and we will continue to deliver. L'honorable député.